Ah, oh, sweet memories. You know, it really brings me back to... <laughs> Yeah, that's I guess a, we, that's a wake up call. Welcome back, everybody, to what should be the final chapter of Honor Among Thieves. Honor Among you Thieves, ever starring if, Honor like, Among Thieves. Honor yeah, Among Thieves. Have you ever wondered, like, so, like we said, a vast majority of this game is just a flashback. Have you ever we'll wondered if, like, in real time, like, Dr. M just sees, like, Sly just, just gazing off, like, reminiscing, and he's like, Um, are you okay there, lad? He's just checking his watch. Am I interrupting? Honestly, I'm just surprised that the monster did just, just didn't immediately eat him. Uh, guys, you think we should go and help him? Let him wait one more minute. <laughs> and then they all go. Even, even I, I, go. I, I have to go use the restroom. I left something in the oven. Did they just pull yeah. Homer Simpson? Oh, right, him backing into the bushes. <laughs> What is the, if I if you don't mind my asking, what's the proper context of that scene? Uh, basically, that was just he's to trying to be really buddy buddy with uh, Ned Flanders and his gang on his nerves. Ah, uh, he's like shh, and off he goes. But we were so close. I mean, it's like one of the few times in the series where Ned Flanders actually gets uh, fed up with Homer. Gotcha. Right. Funny, but here I am. God damn, really damn, Homer. All I can think of what a coward I've been towards Carmelo. Never took the next step. Really, oh, Sly? Even at death store, you're thinking about that. That's double the damn reason. Arm. That's his. That's the reason. That's what led him to all this moment. Yeah, I mean, when when you're close to death door, what else will you think of aside from the people you love most, like your friends and well, that one girl who kept chasing your ass all throughout the world. I'd forget. This has I forget. I remember that I left the oven on. And this has been. And this has been something they've been building up to since even the first game's ending. Jeez, this this fucking monster's just toying with him at this point. Yeah, he wants to see him. And it's pretty much gonna be like this for the next 10, 20 minutes or so. So join us as we watch the death of Sly Cooper in honor <laughs> among thieves. Sly Cooper. Episode, Sly Sly three, honor among the thieves. Episode episode six. Uh Sly gets away. Sly three, press F to thieves. Meanwhile. Oh, that's where the king got wow, that oh, was yeah. lucky. What, what luck? It could have just spat it out all the way right there. the water. Seriously. Although, so yeah, that looks oh, an issue. What the? Oh, oh hey, the gorilla that? mercs are here. It's a Where good thing we Car have how, these guys on our side. How did Carmelita know to show up here? How, to be fair, how does she know to show up in any of the places we go to? I mean, the comic did, does insinuate that she does keep a close eye on him whenever she can. I'm sorry, are these soldiers actual human beings? No, no they're gorillas. No, they're gorillas. So I've never seen a pink gorilla before in my life. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, 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 gorilla, they're gorilla soldiers. Well, it's like, oh, it's gorilla seen, never, warfare. You, okay. Exactly. My, oh like, my god. What? Fuck him up, Carmelita! That's, that, that, that's the joke, is that it they are mercenaries. Them out. I feel like we even mentioned that, in, I think we even mentioned that back in Italy. Anyway, so... I just we said it's fake of money. I feel I like it's almost been a year since we covered it portion of the game. Oh, jeez, he's knocking them back at us. Also, wait, also, wait, I thought, uh, I thought Great Babe was a purple. Yeah, you've seen purple age before. Well, my thing is that, like, he talks about, like, I've, it's like, why would, it's, he makes a joke about, like, what, a great, a purple ape, that's weird. Yet a pink hippo is less weird. I've seen a great babe before. Okay, so Ooh. basically, yeah, this, oh, geez, they're all the mercenaries. Well, Leaky, I'd love to hear that story. Oh, no. The boat. Oh, and he's creating cover with that rock. He's just destroying the out. island itself. How are you doing over there, Cooper? Again, ah, ah, ah. And, again, and again, looking at all this. Oh, I can't take out the Rose Scout Fighter. Again, oh. looking at all. Again, looking at these enemies and the experiments that Doctor M has made. Technically, in the grand world of uh, Sly Cooper, this is some Resident Evil crap. Right? Oh yeah, Basically, no, this is yeah. like this is some this is some umbrella level crap. And, and I mean, not the mince words. I, I do wish they did did a little more of this stuff because like it's only in the beginning, in the very end of the game, where we actually get this weirdo and his um old mutations game. game. Oh, oh, too late. Uh, oh, okay. But but no, okay. Backing up because we can talk about that. Is yeah, that's an issue we've had. Is that Doctor M's presence isn't very like. Like, yeah, it's, it's say what isn't too much. Like, say what you will about fucking the paradox in Sly Four. At least he had more of a presence in this guy. Uh, uh, he he appeared throughout all the chapters. I'll if I could that. throw my hat into the ring real quick, um, uh -huh. to be fair, uh, is it more Resident Evil or more Frankenstein? Resident Evil. Because I mean, they could be dead and then just 
brought back to life as ragdolls. Isn't that what Resident oh, Evil does? Oh, hang on. Oh, I never played Resident Evil. Hang on. Justice. I'm the victim here, defending what's mine from He does have a point. Looked to me like you were attempting to murder them. Yeah, you're That's crushing true. him dead like a ragdoll. Not to mention all the freaking experiments you're pulling on this island here. That I can imagine that commits felonies too numerous to count. I'm sorry, in the background, is that like a tiny little patch of water being electrocuted? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's part of that. It, it, you know, it's our shock bolt still. Huh. Oh, hang on. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. And, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> uh oh. I'm not going to be the one throwing you, though. Uh oh. Right away, sir. Oh, yeah, wait, we're, we're feral. That's right. Nice jump. Oh. Oh, God. And just like that, we lead away with him. I was about to say, that ship ain't big, ain't good, big enough for the two of them, but I guess so. Yeah. Awesome, the hasn't sunk right now. Just like his father, and he's just as dead. I don't think he's Ow, dead. there he is. So, is do we really know anything about this guy besides the he fact that he used to like be the... the... Pers well, I, no. yeah, I was about to say, all we know is that he used to be basically the Bentley of his dad's group. And they do play up the fact that he was basically kind of like... You know, I'm trying to think of the word for it. Like taking. He was. Experience. He was. He was. He, he was jealous, and he felt more like a pawn, and he was tired of playing second fiddle to a Cooper, and that great lineage to basically be an asset rather than like you know receiving what he thought to be his same amount of credit. Where was his right. vault? Where was his fame and like infamy? And he wanted that. So he's basically Bentley with a serious ego problem. Yeah, it, it's yeah. funny. It's funny you say that because they actually do try to pull that same stunt later. Do they? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You'll see once we get into the vault. So anyway, well, what if we do get to go into the vault? Yay! Hey. But yeah, but until then, we were able to successfully recover Sly. He's hanging out below deck, because, yep, we still got this pirate ship. I'm also surprised we still got that thing. Yeah, I, I thought hey, it's a cool it was pirate ship. I thought we destroyed it last time. Eh, we rebuilt it. Mur the Murray had plenty of hardwood lumber. The Murray cannot go without the heavy lumber! Unfortunately, unfortunately, we had to sell our cool golden cannon tops to be able to afford it all. Oh, son of a yeah. bitch! <laughs> that, not, to not to mention, old Crusher has outlived his usefulness, and he made a nice uh, calamari dish. Yeah, was Wasn't Crusher like, the name of one of the uh, crocodiles oh. from Donkey Kong Country? Yeah, um, yeah, he, he was the big blue one. Oh. So the way this works is that whenever we possess a shark, this game you know, go, f falls under the logic of they have... They flock with one another, so if we if we grab oh geez, if we if we grab all of the sharks, they'll start following one another, and we're basically gonna electrocute a bunch of sharks to whack into this electric bully. Whoa. Bully, not bully, bully. Think so. That's cool. Yeah. And you gotta be really careful when you actually lead them over to here because the timing with them can be a little bit on the picky side. <gasps> like so. Yeah. Because they'll whack into it, and yeah, you want to jump off at the right time, and again, dodge these mines, wind wake or stuff. Oh yeah, the, the mines themselves are also really annoying, because they don't really, oh, like... because they'll spawn fast. Yeah, they spawn fast, and aside from just, like, appearing a few inches ahead of you, they have no real way of telegraphing where they're going to be. Hmm. On the plus yeah. side, though, when the, more fit, the more sharks you find, the more there are in a pack. Mm -hmm. So it does save on a little bit of time. I mean, do the sharks following you get affected by the mines? I don't think they do. Okay, no, good. It's just you just have to lean them over here and then turn the wheel so I'll get all the current sharks nearby to start attacking it nuts. Huh. Uh, so I guess so I guess yeah. Now we're th I guess while we're doing this more tedious mission, let's keep talking about that. So, Ooh. so, so, so I'm actually so impressed that the guru actually knows how to turn a wheel. <laughs> oh oh gosh, this part. It's careful. It's just yeah, yeah, but but yeah, Technological mumbo jumbo scares me. But yeah, that thing, that right there, you see where the glowing area is? That's just basically like the blast radius. It covers a lot of distance, so whenever you see that blinking, be sure to jump, like, very quickly, because anything caught in that area, like, instantly electrocutes. Ah, so it's basically a spotlight. Mm-hmm. Kind of, yeah. So let me see what else I can figure out. Um, I, I feel like Dr. M would have done better. Jeez, I feel like Dr. M would have done... I'm also moving faster by jumping, because you move faster in the air. Uh, I think Dr. M would have done better... 
I think it would have been, yeah, I think it would have been better if, like, the Paradox, he appeared more frequently throughout the game. Like, maybe while you're out and about collecting all of the, uh, maybe while you're out and about collecting all of your teammates and stuff. Wait, can you get away? There, now I won't ram into it. Uh, while, while you're out about finding your new teammates, you, you hear talk of some weird, like, mandrake, mandrill. Mandrake. Um, <laughs> no, I, I thought mandrake's a kind of bird or fish. I thought, man, well, I thought mandrake was a, a monkey. Bird. But so a mandrake a man is a man bird. Jeez! Oh, I, thought, I thought it was a mandrill as the type of monkey. He is a mandrill. But anyway. anyway. Just going it, it, would, it, it, would have been, it would have been better if, like, like, maybe you were hearing about someone who was, like, going around these areas like the Outback, Switzerland, trying to like gain resources and or learn clues about the vault and like basically like like James said, like have some more of a om ominous presence throughout everything. It would have probably built up to this a bit better than just honestly otherwise the tone of this chapter just feels no different than all the other one off villains we've been fighting this whole time. Yeah. Game. Well my thing is that like it. to be fair, oh. um like you could kinda of say that for like a lot of different villains in the series like for example like you know as much as people make a big fuss about him clockwork kind of feels like he has a very similar treatment of the first sly gang yeah I mean, but clockwork has more to I do mean, with the entire cooper lineage i i'll say that i'll say to clockwork's credit he is actually part of the pack you deal with throughout the entire game so his presence being a mystery sort of helps in that case not to mention what happens to him in sly 2 and sly 4 right so right. He, he, he get he gets he gets he gets his what he needs, but everyone and else I'll, is just right. Well, yeah, yeah that I mean, then you have the really cool. And you do have the cool moment with. Aww. And the and Clockwork does have that bit of like he is like kind of the titular final boss. Where like throughout all the other chapters, you do feel like you are working up to him, <laughs> and. And when you and when you do see and when you do get that cool little reveal of like in all of the cutscenes revealing the ancestors, he was in all of them. And not to mention the Easter eggs he makes in every single chapter. Right, and of course, and of course, slide two, and of course, slide two did a great job with having the funny, not funny, having the cool clock level reveal. Mm. Technically, freaking art. Technically, arpeggio is the Doctor M of that game. Yeah, though, I mean, granted. Arpeggio still gets gets credit because again he's part of the gang you're dealing with throughout the entire game and he is alluded to every now and again. Doctor M, you only hear about him twice at the beginning and right. the end of the game. Pretty much, yeah. Right. Nowhere throughout your entire adventure otherwise do you hear anything of him. So it's kind yeah. of like nasty North. Uh, I don't know if I would say I would say more Ripto than nasty North because nasty North. At least has no nasty Nork, Well, he's alluded to very often in the first game, and secondly, you're dealing with his, his army throughout the entire thing. Or I was about to say the vast Ripto, majority of like, the enemies that you fight are Norks or gun Norks. Yeah. Whereas Ripto, honestly, when you really think about it, he's really nothing more than just a bully. Yeah. Well, he's also a bully that you see a lot more often than you do nasty Nork. Only he's Ripto is a more overbearing of deadly magic. You're, you're not entirely wrong there, but I mean, oh, Grinch, oh, I feel oh, Rip, oh. Ripto's kind of. Mm, now I would still say Nasty Nork is uh, still a better better villain in the sense that you oh, actually boy. are you, you're, he's acknowledged more often than not. So wait, it's, it's all it's all a matter of presence. Hold up, and you have to use the face buttons for this. Yeah, yes. you do, and I just want to say like, why can't you just this... um, why why can't you use the, the control the, stick or the D pad? The, the, this is how the game handles sort of twin sticks twin stick strafing maneuvers anyway. But this isn't even this... twin stick. This is move up, down, left, right. or right, or go Ooh. faster. For, it's forward, said, back. Uh, it's forward, back. Turn left or right. For, swim. For, you get what I'm saying. Go ahead. I, I was just saying. That being said, I really hate this part of the level. I can this tell. boss can drag. I, I noticed and... there was a cut near the beginning oh, of the. Oh, is. hello. Hello. Because this fight drags and this fight is tricky. You have to aim for Doctor M. This fight is a. It looks interesting, but the fight is. It takes a lot to learn how you're supposed to do it, and you have to dodge. It, it, to get and as you're noticing upper left, that was from one bomb I took. Dimitri does not have a lot of health. I mean, wow. he is a. So he's literally a glass. He's literally a glass cannon. Well, actually, no. He was. He wasn't really that much of a glass cannon in the second game. So yeah, this, I mean, you know what? You know what? I just realized his entire the entire armor he had throughout that thing was just because of his greasy sweet suit. <laughs> Oh once you give him the scuba diving outfit, oh, it's not at all. Into the silent beyond. <sighs> oh, thank God, he spit it us out. Oh, That's also good. we'll say, also, also, also we'll say, fun fact is that uh, 
Penelope herself will actually say in the lines, while Dr. M is talking to you with this weird, like, filter going on, Penelope herself will say, why does he keep talking? We can't understand him underwater. <laughs> well, I, actually, speaking of Penelope, um, I feel bad that we talked about it. That's one of my favorite bits where Dimitri was, like, kind of coming on to her, and she's like, okay, one, get over yourself. Two, seriously, get over yourself. I remember that. Crap, I'm sorry. It was a lot talk about this whole chapter does also move very quickly and now Terrence oh, geez. well it is the finale so they gotta pull out all the stops and mainly I do and... find it kind of interesting that you're fighting Dr. M not just with Sly Cooper or Bentley or Murray well, but all... with some of yeah. the other characters too oh yeah you find him a lot actually in this chapter He's yeah but you're I, fighting I mean, him in different like... methods and play Got styles Don't... oh crap he still has the cane oh no also, wow, he just damn, destroyed that, that thing it's Why is the skeleton just frozen there? The because creepy. I'm sorry. No, because, it's just because, frozen there. Because time constraints. Also, hey, yeah, he still has the that just looks still. awful. We gotta hurry then. But yeah, so as you're seeing... I mean, with that said, I guess I'd say Me. Dr. M is a pretty... I think Dr. M is in a pretty decent... He's an imposing villain and that you're fighting him multiple times. Yeah, I was like, about he to say. The most boss I, think it's kind of, I feel like the number of times you fight him here are made to kind of make up for how little you see him throughout the rest of the game. So it unfortunately also, it also pretty much adds on to the whole issue of chapter, the later chapters just dragging out longer than they need to. I mean, he does seem more of a fighter than a talker here. Even though I'm, I'm pretty fucking up, uh, sure he likes to talk. Oh, hang on, how are you guys having a kiss for him? <laughs> Give you the French right. kiss. Remember, rules one and two. <laughs> Remember the rules. <laughs> uh, that doesn't rhyme. Let's run. You have fun being you. Hey, I'm French. Yeah, I'm that's sure that the French. Thing. Get down. Get down with your bats off. What Maybe the? Maybe if I poke this kid enough time. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, so Hi, Sly. Dimitri suddenly turns into Sly Cooper. Sly, you're a. But we couldn't Sly, get you're a cane. Sly, you have Sly, you have seven broken ribs and a probably a strained femur. What are you doing out of bed? What would compel you to leave the dorm? Ben Lee, forgot about that one page I got for the Phoebe's record this off screen. The one the, the one that the one that describes the healing factor. Actually, okay, if not that if not if not that, the one I was gonna say was you fought you've all these broken bones, Sly. What compelled you to what compelled you to get out of your bed, Dimitri? Understandable. Continue. Oh. Okay. There's that. I was also thinking, like, like you have so many broken bones and organs. Family, we're all cartoon characters. Ding. Um, but, so but, but, but Sly, we're, it, even in a video game, we technically have what's called a rigging skeleton. That's how we're able to move our arms and legs like so. They just start glitching out and warping out of shape because they lost their rigging skeleton. Or, you know, Sly's hat just flies off. Again, you know what, nah, he's, just... he's he's in this in this in, in this game the equivalent of being in a full body cast is basically team posing. <laughs> Actually, now I'm just thinking like just frozen there. there. Just, just talking about. Oh, hang like... on, we're go oh, also we're gonna launch an RC car because we need to take out some anti aircraft cannons. And we're gonna go! launch it the best way we can through a fire. Wee! All right, All right let's move. Anyway, get back to you, hype. But I was just thinking about like just talking about like Bentley being aware that they're video game characters. Now I'm just imagining a point where they basically have a duck and muck moment where Bentley's like, Who's responsible for this? And he just pulls out to see Dimitri in front of a computer. It's like, <laughs> Ain't I a stink? Ain't I the juiciest? <laughs> so yeah, as we're seeing here, we lost, we still don't, unfortunately we don't have our turret because Sly, uh, Sly Bentley still kind of took it off for his grapple cam. Uh, instead we gotta yeah. ram these suckers out. We have to ram these suckers, collect the pink energy Ugh. orbs out. <laughs> collect the pink energy orbs that fall out, and that'll be how we unlock it. So honestly, I'm just going to say right now, probably going to cut out going through this loop over and over again. I got to say, I'm very happy that Dr. M was at least decent enough to design some uh, Spyro Speedway courses. They're having yeah. fun here. Now I'm just imagining... He likes to have fun here. Considering that he's been kind of like hands-on oh, fighting the other one, 
Thanks. Like, Considering he's been hands-on fighting the other members of the Cooper clan, I feel like he would oh, actually oh. be racing Penelope in this with his own RC car. <laughs> that would have been fun. That would have been silly. Shaped like a mandrel. But, it's a of, but it's like a but it's like a mutant like it's like a mutant real life size mouse on a crab car Ugh. or something. I don't know. It'd be weird. No, it's a computer thing. mouse with wheels. <laughs> Emphasis on mouse. <laughs> she a pussy. Well, this. Oh, yeah, and once again, I'm just gonna cut to when I get the last one because otherwise, it's the exact same loop, so it can take. It can be a little repetitive. There we go. So wait, there's are like, the like orbs like, like? Are the orbs um uh energy it's supposed restoring? To be built up, yeah, it's, it's supposed. To, the idea is that yeah, it's, the idea is that you're building up a lot of kinetic energy Dunk. to bam oh. to knock out to knock out the discs. That's why we're that's why we're taking out these. Oh, hang on. I'm pretty sure that's not how kinetic energy is supposed to work, but okay. We store it up and then we release it all in a big kaboom all the Black Panther suit. Well, to be fair, well, to be fair, Riki, it's not like our, our, our actions in life are always solved by pressing the circle button. True I think, that. I think one of the, true I think one of the, I think one of the, I think one of the jokes that's, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think, I think one of the, <laughs> you're not Sonic the Hedgehog, Ooh, you're Jack. I think, I think one of the jokes that are said in this is like, congratulations, um, is like, wow, Penelope, you're amazing, you're the queen of RC car exploding. He's like, I know, you should see my social page. <laughs> oh. Anyway, ta-da! And thus is the end of the RC car. Oh, what's she looking at? What is she looking at? Yeah, like, look, look at her head, she's just like, no okay. dick. It's like, wow, Penelope, that firework is your I, I think, I, I, think, I think she's looking up and realizing what's gonna be in her future. I'm sorry, um, wait. We were at 52% completion in the pre uh, previous part. We're now at 78%. Uh, this is this is because I previously uh, and that'll be shown off. That'll be shown off in another because I want to end off in the credits. I recorded the final bonus part before this chapter. Oh, uh -huh. so you did the secret things. We'll see the secret things later. Anyway. We're taking off in a plane! Oh yeah, remember we brought this thing with us? This is this was behind us the whole time. Oh okay, right, so, we had this thing too. So the way this works is that oh, geez, oh, boy. This, okay, first off, you take a lot of damage so from the missiles. And the shield around their weak point only goes down right after they fire at you. So the idea is you wanna be flying at them, barrel roll, and around roll to the side, and blast the uh, protector for you. Yeah, I mean I've played enough Spyro to see how this works. Honestly, I wish Spyro could actually do could actually do aileron rolls in the um, original trilogy. You mean yeah, barrel yeah. rolls? God. Oh, yeah, in the, yeah, in the speedway sections, that would be amazing. Oh. No, Honestly, it, be, it, it would fun. actually be really convenient if you could do that. No kidding. Like, I kind of wish they, wish they added that into the reignite trilogy and make some of them a hell of a lot easier. In fact, I'm sure we would be ecstatic for that change. Yeah, because yeah. it, would, just be, it to... would be a lot easier to get those narrow hits. Yeah. yeah. Just narrow like, we bring Ali up because, just to give context, she's still in the middle of playing through Ripto's Rage to get prepped for recordings. And, yeah, she kind of hates the Speedway levels. I love the Speedway uh, levels. I think, I, I will say the Spyro 2s are probably the more obnoxious of the bunch, just because, well, they're very tight. Mm -hmm. Crap, mutant, crap, mutant shield thingies. The only way we can damage them... With, uh, sorry, man. Admittedly, uh, these guys, there we go. admittedly, I think the Spyro Speedways in 2 are not too linear, but not too non-linear, is what I'm trying to say. Like, um, I, I distinctly remember that Spyro 1's Speedway stages were crap. I hate them. Eh, uh, I, thought, I thought those were fine. Well, the first few are fine, but then you get, like, the last two, Wild Flight and Icy Flight, and I'm like... Wild Flight, uh, yeah, I, did, I didn't like Wild Flight, but the uh, one afterwards I thought was, um... Oh, I hate Icy out. Flight so much. Um... Oh, and the way I'm taking these guys out is I'm holding the L1 button to fire a missile, then pop shot at them once their shield is down. Gotcha. But no, like, um, the speedways in, uh, Spyro 2 are actually a bit more, you know, a bit better in that regard. I honestly think they're, I honestly do think, though, those can be pretty annoying, especially if, for the, if you, if, say, you wanted to go for the skill points. Because those types, because yeah, they're able to get them pretty easily. Eh, uh, I think they're, I think they're Is that a whale? A whale a humming whale. <gasps> a psi whale. Wait, it's... Oh. Whale the whale dragon dragonfly. Jeez. Wasn't there a kid or some uh, enemy that looked oh, just like this? Oh, speaking of junk, look what's on the rear end. Ew! Why would you sit there and talk to him? I just want you, I just want everyone to remind. I just want everyone to remember though that animals are supposed to be sentient and thus like 
be like people in this universe. They feel that is like everything. a mongoloid. That is a mongoloid mutant creature, not just like some beast of burden. I would also say though that this is also the franchise where in the second game you have realistic elephants, but in the fourth game there's a villain who's literally an elephant woman with a with yeah. a trumpet stuck in her trunk. Also fun. Also fun, also pro tip for this uh, fight: uh, never, never be directly behind him. Because after you, after this phase, you have an attack that I swear is literally impossible. It's impossible to def, it's impossible to avoid if you're directly behind him. Yeah, like that one right there. Like, like so if I you just, have to be right behind him, it pretty much becomes a completely different beast of dodging. Yes, yeah, so I just avoid. So I just I just shoot at him from an angle is my strategy because yeah, otherwise I do not want to try. If it was possible to angle the ship, like, you know, like, an analog aiming where you could, like, okay. rotate it as perfectly as you could, then I would love that section, because it would be, like, me, you know, rotating my ship slowly to dodge everything, but you can't. It'd be so, easier and, and, if you actually had a reticle. And they, and they say that the, uh, dual, the, anal, the analog aiming in Star Fox Zero was a bad idea. Huh. It was a bad idea. It, was, it would have been a brilliant idea if it was on the Wii. Or the 3DS. Even with that clunky-ass gamepad. Oh, that, that too, that too. Right. Uh, or give, the it a, g- give it a year or two. I'll probably eventually get to the Switch. I doubt I, it. I, I, uh, I, I mean, yeah, I highly doubt it too, but I love that just because I feel that game is completely underrated despite its control scheme. Mm-hmm. But even then, it's just Star Fox 64 again. Well, to it's, be fair, it, it's Star Fox. Much... I, honestly, Iki, I know I'm going to be a little controversial. I think it's Star Fox 64 done slightly better. And honestly, like, so. you make that joke, Icky, but... Yeah. Uh, I was about to say, you make that joke, Icky, but aside from Adventures and Command, and I guess some people... Actually, aside from Adventures, Assault, and I guess some would argue Command, pretty much every game in that Devil Dame franchise is just the same game repeated ad nauseum. And that's why I don't like the Star Fox series. Bad Melee. I could do more. Anyway, let's see what's happening now. We just defeated him again. We're seeing needle faces. Right. <laughs> Man, what a jerk. <laughs> it's like, maniacal <laughs> laugh. <laughs> maniacal laugh. Oh my gosh, Sly, can, can you give me a warning, please? Do we get to be eaten by the space whale now? No. Oh. And release. <sighs> Imagine he falls yeah, into okay, the, fall. the, the turbine into the, hole. Into the... Into the... <laughs> Just like you don't know anything about me. You're not my real dad. Oh yeah, I remember McSweeney? Me neither. Who's that guy again? The Walrus, that was, that was in the intro. Yeah. Who had, who and, um, pretty much was just a character that was, that mostly had relevance in the uh, tie-in comic. Yeah, which acted as a prequel to this game, but basically that Walrus... If Dr. M was basically the Bentley to Sly's dad... Then he was the Murray. The Murray. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say no. I was about to comment. I was about to comment earlier. It's like, if Doctor M's the Bentley, then who's the Murray? And so there's McSweeney. That's I'm and just surprised that McSweeney it, 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 doesn't appear at you know took anywhere back. else. Well, he's in and jail. That, so true. And with and with that, we're we're done. It we did it. We're fortunately high enough to paraglide right to the vault. We have the key, and Doctor M probably just fell a really long way. <laughs> yep. It's time to finally settle this. So what's this uh, vault over here, though? This is that vault. No, I mean the one behind you, on that little glass panel thing. Oh, well, that, that was, oh, that was, oh, that was, that was a, com- a drill. Oh no, no, that yeah, that, that was a command. That was a control command. That was a control console for all of the things trying to blast open. You know, oh. you think that you think that the, you think that um, Doctor M would get the idea to maybe forge his own cane of that similar shape. Yeah. Like that that's what he was that that's what he was doing. You see around like you actually see scattered canes around on the floor out here, but none of them worked. Oh huh. uh, okay. So it had to be that specific the cane. Van. Yeah. Oh yeah, remember Come the on. van? Remember the <laughs> panda king? <laughs> They're gonna rig the devil damn van with explosives. Remember how he was a total dick in the first game? Are you sure this is an I need to <laughs> I'm surprised oh. the thing didn't blow up. Nice one. Suck. I, what's, even, what's even crazier is that the wheels are okay. Yeah. I'm never doing that again. And also, suck on that, Nico from Devil May Cry 5. They did it first. <laughs> also, I see some of the fake uh, uh, staffs. Yeah, here. all the fake canes. Yeah, Kings. they tried. Yeah. So There was an attempt. With all, 
there was an attempt an attempt was made uh but yeah so that said we finally have fought our way tooth and nail throughout this whole island Carmelita is still somewhere fighting a giant monster thingy but we'll I'm get back to sure that later no, i guess i'm pretty sure there's no way the van's gonna get out of this one alive <laughs> <laughs> the van kind of just blasts its way up to the top of a fortress and but the van's like a I brother to the of them only closer <laughs> Join us in the next part. Yeah, see you all for the quote-unquote finale of our adventure.